This video demonstrates the installation procedures for the TKS Anti-Ice Leading Edge Porous Panels on the Cessna Caravan. These panels are installed on the wing, wing strut, and horizontal and vertical stabilizer leading edges. These procedures apply to the cargo pod and the fairing TKS system installation on the Cessna Caravan and Grand Caravan airplanes. These procedures can be found in the Caravan Airplane Maintenance Manual, Chapter 30-11-20. The demonstration in this video shows the installation of an inboard leading edge panel and an outboard leading edge panel. The procedure for the remaining leading edge panels is similar to the outboard panel installation. After a porous panel is replaced, it is necessary to perform the panel purge and test procedures. Caution: Do not use MEK, acetone, paint thinner, or similar chlorinated solvents on the porous panels. To prevent damage, use only water and detergent, isopropyl alcohol, and or approved anti-ice fluid on the porous panel surfaces. To begin, remove external power from the airplane. Disengage the circuit breakers on the left circuit breaker panel that follow. Primary anti-ice, windshield anti-ice, backup anti-ice. Next, remove wing access panels as applicable. Refer to Chapter 6, Access Plates and Panels, Identification, Description and Operation. Apply primer to the leading edge area where the porous panel is to be installed. Ensure that the primer is fully dried before beginning to install the panel. Place the porous panel in its correct position on the leading edge. Apply masking tape or equivalent on the airplane skin around the perimeter of the porous panels. Leave a 0.12 inch gap around the masking tape and porous panels. This will protect the skin of the wing and allow for a fillet seal around the edges of the porous panels. Be careful when removing and installing the porous panels. The panels are easily damaged. Use non-metallic tools if possible to prevent tears, gouges, scratches, and other damage. Next, drill the rivet and screw holes to match the existing hole locations on the leading edge. The wing and wing strut panels only use rivets. The stabilizer panels have rivets and screws installed. Then remove the caps from the two bins. Install new seals in the tubing ends as shown in figure 203. Do not use the seals again after loosening or disconnecting a tube coupling. Replace the 3 16 and 5 16 inch sealing ring and or the half inch o-ring as applicable when a tube coupling is assembled. Examine the seal for damage and ensure that it is in the correct position in the coupling as shown in figure 203. This will help to prevent fluid leakage from the coupling. Now the TKS porous panel sealant procedure can be performed. First, lightly abrade the airplane leading edge with a Scotch-Brite pad. Then, use isopropyl alcohol to scrub the area of the leading edge with a sponge or short bristle brush where the panel will be installed. Wipe in approximately 12 to 15 inch sections. Then use a clean, lint-free cloth to dry the area before the cleaning solution evaporates. Repeat wiping the leading edge with isopropyl alcohol and then drying with a clean lint-free cloth until no debris or contaminants remain. This step is critical to ensure proper panel adhesion during all operating conditions. Use a clean lint-free cloth that is wet with isopropyl alcohol to clean the aft surface of the panel. Then use a clean lint-free cloth to remove debris and contaminant from the surface of the panel. Again. Use a clean, lint-free cloth to dry the area immediately before the isopropyl alcohol evaporates. Finally, wipe the surface of the panel with a clean, lint-free cloth to ensure that there is no debris and contaminants. This step is critical to ensure proper adhesion during all operating conditions. On all panels except the inboard wing panel, use X-type Class B sealant to seal the void on the upper and lower back shell joggle, down the center half-inch face seal, and around the feed inlet and air bleed valve. Refer to figure 202 for further information. On the inboard wing panels, apply Type X Class B sealant to all of the back surface of the panel and to the feed input and bleed valve. On the inboard wing panels, approximately 65 ounces of sealant is needed to make sure that there is no air pockets between the panel and the wing leading edge. 
Use Type X Class B sealant to shank seal around each rivet and or screw hole in the leading edge skin. The leading edge porous panels can now be installed on the leading edge. Hold the panel in position near the leading edge and connect the tubing. Hand tighten the coupling. Continue to tighten the coupling with a wrench approximately 180 degrees more. Align the panel and install temporary fasteners to hold the panel in position. Push the panel against the leading edge with enough pressure to cause the sealant to squeeze out along the edges. Keep applying pressure until the tape strips or ratcheting straps are applied to hold the panel in position while the sealant cures. Make sure that the panel edges are against the leading edge skin. To spread the load where the ratcheting straps are used, use metal angles to protect the trailing edge. Place blankets or foam between the metal angles and the trailing edge. Use tape strips or ratcheting straps as necessary to hold the panel tightly against the leading edge. Since more sealant is used on the inboard wing panels, it is necessary to use the ratcheting straps for these panels around the wing to maintain pressure on the panel while the sealant cures. Do not use too much force while tightening the straps as damage to the wing could occur. Install the rivets and or screws as applicable that attach the panel to the leading edge. The wing and wing strut panels only use rivets. Examine the rivet heads and or screw heads for correct installation. Use Type X Class B sealant to apply a shank seal to the rivets. On the vertical stabilizer panel only, torque the screws to 12 to 15 inch pounds. Use Type 1 Class B sealant to fillet seal around the edges of the porous panel. This can also be performed after painting the airplane. Apply the sealant in the 0.12 inch area between the tape on the wing skin and the porous panel. Make sure that the sealant touches the edge of the porous panel at all positions. After the sealant is cured, remove all tape and ratcheting straps. Perform the panel purge and test procedures. Refer to TKS Anti-Ice Leading Edge Porous Panel Test and Adjustment Procedures in the Maintenance Manual. Perform a leak check of the panels. Install the wing access and tail cone panels. Remove external electrical power from the airplane. I hope you found this video to be helpful. For further information, please call Textron Aviation Team Turboprop Technical Support at 316-517-5800.